Hi everyone, welcome. We are going to do some chalk projects today. I'm super excited to be back home and to be able to go live with you guys. So I have the sports transfers and st we still have transfer palooza going on. So it's buy three, get one free. And I got these ones, these two or three of these I paid for, one of those I got for free. And they're called the sport, I mean, they're all different sports, okay? so. We're going to do the football, and we are going to do the football helmet, and we're going to paint our simple shapes. These are trackable shapes. They are super awesome. This is the football, and this is the helmet, and we're going to paint them in some, like, we're going to paint the football brown, and then we're going to go over top of it with white, and we are going to paint the helmet blue, and we're going to go up over top of it with yellow. Blue and yellow are... Um, Michigan U of M um, their colors and I'm a huge U of M fan I'm also a Spartan fan so technically I could paint this black and do yellow over top as well um, but we're gonna do blue so I got some colors out we got surfaces ready to go I got all my supplies it was a little chaotic because I haven't been live in a while so it was like where's all my things so just bear with me everyone okay so I'm gonna move this down so you guys can see what I am doing so I was gone on a Watts of Love trip which Watts of Love is our nonprofit organization that Chalk is teamed up with they are amazing we give lights to those who are either have no electricity or they're displaced by storms yes they do it here in the US as well um, they help with hurricane victims and so I'm going to keep that cardboard. So um, they're an amazing organization. If you want to know more about Watts of Love, I will put a link in here on how to check out our Watts of Love page. Um, every $50 buys a light. And lights on average help seven people. That's a lot of people. And we found out with the help of Watts and Chalkature and all of our customers and um, team members and designers that we have helped light many, many, many homes. So that's super fun and exciting. I am really gonna, I'm really gonna move this stuff out of my way. I just wanna make sure my mic is still on, it is. Okay, so we are gonna paint these. Um, we're gonna dry brush them. So there's a couple different techniques that you can do. You can use paint brushes, which is what I'm gonna use, or you can use like a baby wipe. Um, you can do it like that as well. So we're going to paint the helmet cadet blue. That is our cadet. I do need to stir it. It's been a minute since I've used it. You wanna make sure that the consistency is like sour cream or yogurt. You wanna make sure it's not too runny, but it's not too thick because if it's too thick, it's not gonna spread right. And if it's too thin, it's gonna bleed out. So you just wanna kind of keep an eye on that. I think I just got paste on my fingers, but it's all good. It will clean up really easily. Um, these are also non-toxic. So if you have littles at home or, or grandbabies or anything like that, and they want to chalk with you, they absolutely can. It's not going to hurt them. Okay, so we are going to grab this brush, and we're just going to brush it on, paint it on. Now, if you're having a problem with it spreading or you're like, oh, it's not spreading very well, you can always spritz it with a little bit of distilled water like that. And it will spread a lot easier. Just like that. I see how easy that is spreading. Because I kind of want it to be a little bit lighter. I don't want it to be so dark. Because one, U of M's colors, I mean, they are dark blue and yellow. But you don't want them too dark. You don't want it as dark as Cadet. Or maybe you do. Or maybe these aren't your team colors. And you would like, you know, green and white. Maybe for Spartans. Or maybe you are... A Kansas City Chiefs fan and you want red and I think there are other colors white. <laughs> I am not a Kansas City Chiefs fan as obviously as you can tell but that is up to you and you can always add in whatever color paste singles you would like. I'm just gonna go over this and get rid of these lines. Okay I have too many lines here so I need to just I need to go straight across there we go. And then fix that one spot where my finger was. Okay. So I'm going to sit this. Oh my goodness. I need to do this 
real quick. Fix these spots that didn't get full. So this actually will wash right up too. You just wash it with a little bit of water. Um, I'm actually gonna stick it down here in my tray because I have a tray that I need to clean all of that. And I'm just gonna wash this off my fingers. Get all of the paste off because I don't want to transfer anything. Okay. Need a little bit more. Now you don't want to wipe the surface um, necessarily down with baby wipes to clean it all off and then put the transfer on because the transfers, you don't want the baby wipes touching the transfer because they are water and it will actually take the stickiness of our transfers away. So really quickly I'm going to dry this and we're going to move on to the football and then we'll do the other things so that it gives it a chance to sit, dry. It's also, if you have a kid or you know somebody who loves football or they are on a football team, you can always use their colors as well. We have a rainbow of colors to choose from. If you've ever seen my wall behind me, it's got a lot, a lot of colors. And we have singles and we have jars. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. Now, before we go to um, do a project like this, I will wax this just to protect this so that it doesn't come up. It also will protect our transfer. Alright. And I pulled out one of these, which is actually a um, chalk chip base that is for our chalk chips that go, they can also go on our letter boards. I actually grabbed one to sit the helmet and stuff in. So I'm actually going to set this off to the side. And then we're going to do the little football. I don't know if you guys are big football fans or not, but we have tennis and there's basketball and baseball and golf and um, there's a shoe and just lots of really cool things to, um, to chalk and to do for sports. So if you are not, maybe you're not a huge football fan or your family doesn't like football and they only like baseball or whatever, you there are those transfers on here. And the shoes are absolutely adorable. I love the shoes. Now, see, this one went a little thin. So, I obviously don't want that football that light color. I don't want it super dark either. But I might have to dry and then go back over top. Just kind of give it a second, you know, like a quick little dry, and then we'll go back. I'm not going to do it too much, but enough that it's going to stay and not pull back up. Like that, and then I'm going to dip my brush back in. I'm just going to... There is a tool we have that goes with our artisan tool set. Or, you can even do the detail tool. And you can actually hold it using the detail tool. Kind of like holding it in place so it doesn't slide. You could totally do that. And you'll only have like a little tiny spot to touch up. Hold on one second here. All right, I am liking the look so far. Even though it's not exactly 100% even, but what leather is even, right? Just think of that. All right, let's dry this. Let's cover our paste. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. If I see them pop up, I will answer them right away. Okay, so we're going to put this one away. We're going to put our blue away. I'm just going to put the other two coats. Okay, so I'm going to sit this off to the side. Then I'm going to grab my helmet and I'm going to grab a wax applicator and my wax. Now our wax has no smell. It actually smells like crayons, to be honest. I mean, so if it does have a smell, it's literally like crayons. So you can see there's not a lot left in this, but actually, guys, there's still quite a bit that I can use. So I'm just gonna use it all up until 
I can't use it anymore. So we are going to rub this across and we are going to do this so that it's going to protect this layer from being pulled up. Oops. If you're having a problem with it spreading, you can also warm it up with the um, quick dry tool or if you have a hair dryer, whatever you're using. Now I got this on my fingers. Fun. Now these transfers are actually quite big. They are not cut apart, but I am going to cut them apart just to use them only because they're so big. Well, I might not because they're both of the things that I'm using are in the are on the edge, not in the middle. Of course, I have paste all over my fingers. It's the kind of day I'm going to have. All right. Okay, so there's that one. So I'm actually going to let it sit there for just a second, and then I got to buff that out. So we're going to do this one next. Now you want to make sure you're moving this, this around. You're not just only waxing in one area. You want to make sure it's getting moved around. Like I said, if you're having a hard time getting it, you can always, always um, just kind of like, you know, move it around with the heat. So that is done. There will be a cart link on how to get all of these videos that we used here today. And let's buff these out. The reason you want to buff them out, and I did the wrong side, of course. The reason you want to buff them out is so that, let's grab a different one here. That one needs to be washed anyway. Um, the reason you want to buff them out is because you don't want any extra wax on them when you're getting ready to do this. Okay. So we're going to do the helmet first. Alrighty. That's the helmet right there. This is a C size transfer. So it's pretty big, but we still have our transfer palooza going on. It ends tomorrow at midnight Mountain Standard Time. And so if you are like, you love these and you want to get them, you're going to want to grab them while we have the transfer palooza going on because the football and the helmet are on two separate transfers. We also have all of our tropical shapes. Those are super awesome as well. All right. Now, as always, I write on mine top. I do a dash mark. I'm going to do football. Helmet. Golf. And what else is on here? Basketball. All right. I was a cheerleader in high school, so I cheered for basketball. I was never a huge basketball fan, but I did love cheering for it. It was a lot of fun to watch and cheer for, but I just football just screams to me. It's just one of my things that I love. Now, I know a lot of people who love golf, or a lot of people who love tennis, or volleyball, or baseball, softball, whatever. So you can always um, you know, do whatever one you want to do. And they made it so it kind of looks like it's the pattern, so it tells you like the different pieces or the diagram of it. So that's super, super cool looking. So if you have somebody who's really big into sports, you can make it look like a blueprint type thing. That's super cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the football. I'm going to sit it right here. I'm actually going to do it just like this. I'm going to put the football or the transfer on the helmet just right there. Hold on. I just need to get it adjusted to where I want it. Sometimes, guys, it does take a little bit of finagling. Okay, so don't get frustrated. I know sometimes I do. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do. But it will fit on there. It doesn't want to stick to the... It keeps wanting to stick to the towel. Like I said, just a little bit of finagling. Yeah, I'm not liking placement. Hold on. I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm going to flip it this way and I'm 
going to do it like this because this is just a little bit easier for me to get it when I'm going to look at it this way. And it's still not right. <laughs> There's right. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull it off of the date off this fuzzy cloth. The fuzzy cloth is driving me crazy. So we're going to flip it over and we're going to put it down. Kind of just lay it, push it down a little bit on the table just so that I can keep it. So I'm going to do, oops, not that color. <laughs> I'm going to do yellow. Um, so this is Bumblebee and Cadet. Those are the two colors that I chose. So I'm just going to go over top with this color here. Just going and making all the lines. Now if you're like, ooh, that seems like I don't, might not want to do it like that. You always can use our um, detail tool like at the bottom, or you can use a mini squeegee, or you can use a um, multi-tool, because at the bottom of the multi-tool, it's also a squeegee. You just want to get where all of those lines are. Pull this up. There is the helmet. I'll stick that on the table for right now. Just stick it there. And I'm going to dry this. I love how it turned out. It's super cute. also have shadow boxes and things like that that you can actually use too to put it on. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to do the um, chalkable um, board pieces that we have and we'll write the word football or something like that on it or eventually. I'm not going to do it tonight because it's a little late but these will fit. right in there it sits right there super cute right and then we can put the football in it as well but let's get ready to do the football the football is on this one it has soccer and it has cleats and it has a baseball mitt um it's got a basketball shoe so that one we'll just call this one um Football, soccer, like all of that. So we know which way that they go back on. And I always write on the back sheet. And the reason I do that is because I want to know exactly how it goes back on that. Pull this off to the side. But our backer sheet is yellow now on the back. So it's a little easier for you to be able to do that. So I'm going to actually put marks. Okay, we got football. Soccer. Um, we had a cleat and shoe. So I know just what's on the back of that. I'm gonna grab up the fuzzing cloth again. So you can fuzz that. And you will want to get all of these supplies to use here because it, geez, these just make it a little bit easier. But you can always add to or take away from the cart link that I add. So if you don't want to, you don't have to get all of the things. You can be like, no, I only wanted that transfer. I have plans for it. I want to put it on something, a shirt, whatever. And you absolutely can do that. I don't think you have to buy all the things. It's just fun to have all the things, right? And as always, we ask that you round up with lots of love at checkout, or you can do a donation. We have um, a spot on our 
our site where you can donate and give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty five dollars, and fifty dollars, or you can do it in dollar increments, ten dollar increments, however you want to do it. So it's super awesome. I'm gonna pull this oh, fuzzing cloth out for just a second. I'm gonna fuzz it this way for just a second because it feels like it's still really sticky. All right, now I move this over. I'm gonna sit this little football down and not get my arm stuck on the transfer. Okay, let's see if we got it on there right. Pretty close, but not exact. So I'm gonna finagle this, get it on it on there the way I want it. The great thing is you can see through these transfers. So when you can see through them, it's a lot easier to place the transfer down. So now we're gonna use our white and we're going to put on the laces and all of that. So super cute. So tell us in the comments what you think of this project and also what sports do you like? Are you a big sports fan? Are you like, no, I'm not. I'd rather maybe horse racing, which is a sport too, but maybe you like that kind of sport. Or do you like playing them or do you like watching them? That's another question I have for you. I like watching football. I'm not such a big football player. Um, and I also, I do play tennis though. I used to love tennis. I've done it in years. Um, so... This one right here on the table. Wash my fingers and then we'll dry that. And we will put them on our little case. And the football is super adorable. So, what I did is I also did a football helmet. And I did it on a black surface, and I did it yellow, so that it's my Steelers color, colors. And then I put my favorite um, football player's number on there, which is TJ Watt. And, um, yeah, it was super cute. I loved that. All right, let's move this up. So if you have people in your family who love sports, or, oh, it's crooked, or who are, you know, they love to play sports, now you can also sit them in here. Like that, and you can just, you know, hold on, I think I have them backwards, guys. No, I have them right away. So they're going to lean a little bit. That's how these boards, these board holders work. They kind of lean a little bit. So there is our cute little helmet and football. How adorable was that? It was super easy to make, super fun. You could do so many things with chalk couture. If you are not crafty, guys, you can be crafty with chalk. I promise you, it is super easy. If you can butter bread, you can do this. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're catching this on a replay, just go ahead and put hashtag replay so I know you've seen it. Thank you all for hopping on. Thank you all for your support. And we are going, I will post a link with this video on how to get all of the goodies that we used here today. You can add to or take away from the cart. I'll see you guys here tomorrow um, for another Chocotour project for Halloween. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.